I'm Asatsu5 and um, this is just a quick uh, video on why it's important to always carry a knife with you how it can really be a big help and as you can see this is not a knife it is actually a rough draft to an essay that I was writing for uh, class uh, but it ties into the story um, well let's get started off uh, mo Monday um, uh, night after you know I was getting ready to go to bed um, a friend of mine called and said uh, hey um, we got some stuff going on um, um, down here I, I really need some help um, cleaning and organizing and all that kind of stuff and with some cooking because we're going to have a bunch of people over and um, the other people that it, it was um, in this for an event and I was and he was like I really need some help and he said what kind of time can you get downhill I said well I can get there around um, five o'clock and I wasn't planning ahead when I said this but um, he asked for help I was ready to help anyways um, that um, Tuesday um, I, um, I, I needed to really work on this essay and um, I've been working on it you know for a while trying to uh, get it uh, right because I'm not a good writer at all and um, anyways um, I was like well I got two thirds of this essay done um, that's good enough I'll um, go ahead and uh, uh, go go down to um, well Wells Texas if you don't know what that is a small town I was helping out my buddy I got back around seven or eight o'clock and I was wore out and I was like alright I'm going to go ahead and finish my essay and which isn't a big essay but um, you know it's not like uh, five pages or anything it's just a two page essay but uh, I, like I said I'm a terrible writer and I'm trying to um, you know correct all those scramble mistakes spelling and all that um, I, I was really working hard to get a good essay so after I got back from helping my friend out I uh, got home, started looking for my flash drive. Now this is when um, Morphe's Law took into effect. Everything that can go wrong, will go wrong. And um, it's good to have time for to prepare for Morphe's Law, which I didn't do. But I lost my flash drive. Now normally I save all of my homework and essays on a flash drive and I also email it to myself and save it on maybe a separate a backup flash drive so I can have a backup well I didn't do that uh, for whatever reason I didn't so I lost my flash drive that um, had pretty much my whole entire essay that I've been working on and the papers due tomorrow or Wednesday and um, it was Tuesday so it was going to be due the next day and um, I, I opened up uh, my internet and um, uh, and um, I had um, you know because when I, I don't know if, how many of y'all do this, but um, when I'm um, typing, I always open up the, the internet and I'll um, like use Google search, Yahoo search, and that'll be my spell check. Because uh, sometimes I'll try to spell something and it's just so way out there that the spell check on my computer can't pick it up. But for some reason, Google and Yahoo can. So I'll use that as my spell check. And um, I started thinking how I was going to come up with a whole entire essay before um, class. And I started thinking and thinking. And I remembered I printed out this rough draft. Now this is a rough draft. It's not um, necessarily the best of work that I had uh, saved on my flash drive. It's just a basic um, rough draft that I printed off a while back so I can read on it and um, when I'm away from uh, my computer or anything like that I can kind of plan my, uh, what, my next paragraph and I can go over it when I'm away from pretty much all of my electronics and I was like oh cool I remember to print off a rough draft I have something though but I didn't uh, on the second page and you can kind of see what, what I started to do but I didn't have the rest of it and I really don't have a lot right there, but it was, you know, it was last minute stuff. <laughs> and um, 
so uh, I decided what I was going to do is I'm going to um, continue typing on my computer and um, after I type it on my computer I'm going to um, save it onto uh, my backup flash drive that I still had and I was going to take it to my um, mom's computer which is hooked up to the printer and print it off and I did that um, it took, and believe it or not it took me a few hours to get that last part because um, uh, real, really I was just so tired and sleepy I wasn't really thinking that great and um, you know I was just I was I was I was out though. <laughs> I, I was I was uh, really just fighting to um, get things done, and so I went up to my mom's computer, lo um, loaded up on my mom's computer, and I pressed print. Well, our printer was out of ink, and this thing's due tomorrow. And um, and at, and by that time, I didn't have these two extra parts added to um, my essay yet. They were on my flash drive. These won't print, printed yet. So uh, I went to the um, I went to school uh, on Wednesday, real early in the morning, because I needed to find a printer, or not a printer, but well, I did need to find a printer, but I also needed to find a Xerox machine that I didn't have to pay for. Now there was a Xerox machine open to all the students in the library, but you have to pretty much pay fifty cents for black and white uh, printing and um, 75 cents for color and I had no change with me and I doubt the librarian had change for 20 and um, so anyways um, I printed um, th that um, these um, uh, I guess you can almost call them a paragraph I, I printed off my conclusion um, of my essay and then I was like, all right, so what, how am I going to um, put it onto my piece of paper and, um, you know, so I can Xerox it where it looks somewhat decent. And I remembered I had a particular knife on me. You know, I had my um, self-defense knife, and I had a, um, a knife that I always carry to school with me. Uh, it's, you know, a very people-friendly knife. People don't get scared of it very easily, and that is my... Silver Tech uh, Huntsman Victorian Knox Sw Swiss Army Knife and it has sizzles on it so I was able to cut out um, the uh, two panels of um, um, my conclusionary paragraph and um, cut them out and line them up with um, the prece preceding paragraph and, um, I, and I was able to tape them on there in which they still all this is the original rough draft with the conclusionary um, uh, sentences added and um, like I said again I'm not a great writer this will hardly pass as an acceptable uh, essay in a, a regular uh, writing class I'm in a remedial uh, writing class because I really need it and um, I also needed something to turn in because if I w didn't turn in this essay that'd be a big chunk of my grade gone and I probably would have failed so I just I was just looking for something to turn in and um, so I taped it on here and my next job was finding the Xerox machine that I didn't have to pay for because sometimes doing what I was doing takes more than one copy um, I have done this before as a joke um, there was a uh, there was a friend of mine uh, who decided um, that he was gonna um, drop out of high school his senior year halfway through the year was over you know we're, we're pretty much you know the worst of high school was gone and he decided to drop out for whatever reason I don't know he's he's a little stupid when it can't, that was one of his dumb old decisions he ever made so anyways uh, um, I got my diploma and um, we um, uh, got on the paint program and um, I did this Xerox thing while I made a counterfeit um a diploma, but only a set, talked about how stupid he was for dropping out of uh, high school, and about um, you know it was pretty much joking with him about how uh, he really screwed up, and he thought it was real funny, um, just because the diploma looked so real. But instead of talking about the, your accomplishments, it talked about how he screwed up a lot, and he just thought it was kind of funny. It was a joke, 
but I already knew how this stuff worked. So I needed to find a free Xerox machine. And I finally did find one. And I w was able to print it off. And it looked like it was typed on there. You know, it looked like the um, sentences that I taped on there were actually typed on to the essay. So the moral of the story is, um, you never know when unpleasant things are going to happen. It doesn't necessarily have to be dangerous or life-threatening. But you don't know when something's going to happen that's just going to ruin your day. And um, so I always carry a knife with you. If I didn't have this knife and I had another knife, like I just got a new sod buster, which I'll probably have a review on soon. Um, I, I could have used the, just the... I'll pull out the actual knife blade out and show you. I would have used just the actual blade to cut out and use it as kind of an exacto knife. And those ways of cutting out um, um, paper with uh, a knife blade um, without cutting your table. You know, obviously if I did it right now, I'd cut, cut the table. But I know of ways of, you know, get, getting around those kind of problems. And the moral of the story is, you know, carry a knife with you. It can really save you when you're in a sticky situation. And I am, as of right now, right, waiting for my grade on this paper. I'm kind of excited or... Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually excited, but uh, I'm kind of, you know, ready to see what I made for it, just because I really had to rig it up at the last second, and um, after that, I had to get, uh, after Wednesday, I had to go home, stay up until um, uh, pretty much 11 o'clock, um, again, when I stayed up all night doing this, um, I stopped... I was awake, but I was trying to go to bed at uh, 1.30, which some people can pull off, but I can't because I've been staying up for um, the previous days uh, before Wednesday, I mean before uh, Tuesday. So anyways, and it's just doing homework and that kind of stuff. It's not like I'm partying. <laughs> and uh, anyways, that Wednesday night I had to stay up until um, about 11, working on some more homework. Which, what you know what is a real kickle? My uh, teacher assigned me um, um, pages 199 to uh, 211, which isn't a lot of work, but um, it's just um, getting other things done, you know, getting uh, chores around the house done, getting um, other uh, classes' homework done. But And then after I finished... Um, those pages 199 to 211 uh, after I got everything done around 11 o'clock and when I went to that class that particular class she didn't even take it up so um, really I could have just went without <laughs> doing it and I would have been alright I would have lost practice but I would have been alright uh, as far as my grades went Anyways, I thought I'd show the story with you. Congratulations. I'm surprised if you stay, stay this long listening to it. It's not really the most interesting story. But I thought I had a good uh, moral. You know, always be prepared. Plan ahead. And stuff happens. And about how a knife really helped uh, save the day uh, at college. So anyways, uh, I'm a Satsu 5. Soon after this, I hope to have um, my up up, uh, account update video up and my um, Hisatsu um, piercing test, um, my Hisatsu folding knife piercing test uh, competition video, which me and my brother are kind of doing between each other. Anybody else is welcome to join. But I'm hoping to um, sometime. I don't know if I'll be able to do it today. But um, at least tomorrow, I get my account update video done and my um, piercing test video done. And um, hopefully, things will start to slow down here. I'm Satsu5, and I'm out.